Hi everyone. Right, um, I'm going to do a series of miniatures, which are the diorama ones. Um, and mine's going to be called the coaster set. Now I've popped that in. I'm, I'll go through it with you in a minute. I'm just realising what I've just done. That's it. I haven't glued it in just yet. There we go. So I can explain to you what I've done. So I'm going to do the square coasters and the round coasters as different miniatures. Uh, these are the small ones. I don't have anything tiny. I have to make everything. So what I've done is I've taken one round uh, coaster. Um, taken some chipboard, uh, not chipboard, um, corrugated board. Uh, only the thin one. Bent it and I've run it down the edge of the uh, table to get the curvature. It just bends easier, breaks the fibre up. I've added, um, I've made another one of these, and this is like, um, it's for model making, you know, when you're building things, chipboard, so it's only like two millimetres. I've done the picture, that picture, I've done the flooring. Uh, I'm just going to cut that bit off. That's didn't quite get that. Yeah, I've done the flooring, and the way to do that is I just use like a um, cable needle, the stylus if you've got one. And what I do is with the ruler and my board, I do them every centimeter. So I do it like that first, and I score. So I've got all the centimeter ones, and then I take my cable needle. Um, or whatever needle I'm using at the time, and I just draw on, pressing hard, um, whatever it is that I'm going to do, like the flooring. So now we've got the floor there. And then I'm going to sit that inside the diorama, the little mini. I'm just going to call it a miniature. Um, I can spin that round. See, I've put that in now, and it's still not quite right. This particular one... Let me just turn that back round. Yeah. This particular one is called um, the library. So this is the library tower. Not for any reason. It doesn't come after a film. It's not in a film that I know of. It's just something I wanted to do. A library tower. So I'm going to be building the units, building all the books, and I will be taking you through the process. So... What I've done now is because I want a little cap on mine, a, a, a ledge and a front. So I've cut these. I mean, you do these as wide as you want. Mine are two, four, six millimetre wide. And I'm just going to be, I'll cut this bit out, this leg bit here. And then that will sit in there like that. And then this top piece. Now, you say, well, it won't fit for you. No, of course it won't fit. Because I've just bloody cut it. <laughs> I've cut two halves. I didn't want that. I need three quarters sort of thing, don't I? And that's going to be pulled in like that. Bugger. So I'm going to have to do that again. Let me just get me other piece of um, card. Give me a flat piece. I'm using this card because it is a lot easier to cut. So, we'll just do that again. They're the bits for the sides. See? Wake up. That's because I got distracted. I was thinking, shall I film it or shan't I? So, I've got mine. So, it's got to be bigger than that, obviously. I mean, I could put that in there as a cap. But I don't want to. I want it to be open so you can actually see it. And I'm just going to have, like, half. So, you'll see what I mean. Let's start again. Let's do it this way so I know you can see. So I'm going to, when you're cutting out of card, try and do all your cuttings to the side, not bang in the middle because you waste an awful lot and it's not cheap, especially these days. But anyway, I'm just going to, oh, sorry, I need to, that's what I need to do. I need to do it slightly bigger. So I'm going to do a centimetre bigger than that, but I'm going to use this as a guide. So if I go in like that, That'll give me a centimetre all the way around. Now, what I'm going to do, because I hate wasting card. I've, look, I've just cut that. Well, I, yeah, it's not, it, that'll be the front bit. 
Just make sure you cut enough to give you that centimetre. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to measure, yeah, that'll be the front. So I'm going to measure it from here and I can cut it off when I don't need it. Um, so I'm just going to do that now. I'm not fussed about that bit. So I'm just going to measure all the way around. I'll speed this up because you don't need to, although I can chat to you, can't I? Yeah, um, thanks to the lovely comments on the schoolhouse, uh, on the schoolhouse, on the um, the art studio that I did. They are, that's a little bit going to be too short in it. I might need to cut this down a bit more, but we'll see. Um, they are easy to do, and as you can see, this is not hard to do this. It's just, you've just got to have patience and once you know what you're doing and everybody builds differently. I don't do mine like anybody else. Of course I don't. Because I'm me. And every artist, they're all as good as each other. So I know some are more experienced. But I've seen some absolutely amazing miniatures by people who didn't know they could craft. And I've told you this before, so... You know, you don't have to be a crafter. You don't have to be a miniaturist to make a miniature. So long as you've got the guidance and the know-how of what you're doing, just watch a couple of videos and go off and do your thing. And the best thing about it is work things out for yourself. You know, that's the most satisfying thing possible to think that you have actually made that for your you know, for yourself and not copied anybody. Now, lots of people do these rooms this size. They do them um, thingy, but I'm going to call mine the coaster session. They're not from films, I have to say. Nowhere near from any film whatsoever. I don't watch films, I've got time. Now, with bits like this, I never throw away because if you do an individual bricks or you need a little circle, they're always handy to have. So I generally just cut the corners off because you never get them in any use and they do um you know like for doing under a ledge don't waste your stuff it's too expensive to waste i have to tell you that so yeah that's going to sit like that in fact i think that's going to fit perfectly so what i'm going to do now is just to cut there and if it's too short i'll have to fit a piece in and then cut round I'll do it to there. If I have to cut more off, that's fine, which I do, I think. I'll do it that way. Let me just see, because I'm going to put that on there like that, lifting it over this way a little bit. So, that has to go like that. And I'm going to mark that here. Do you see what I've done? And I will be cutting this down slightly. I'm going to match it up all the way around with this bit. So I have to be careful. So that's about a full centimetre. There. Okay. righty ho so we save them little bits you know you often want like uh, to cut out a little bit for a doorknob and things like that I'll just have a little bag that I keep all bits in like that so this should work hopefully so this has to come out as well we're not keeping the roof on yeah that'll do what I might do is just cut that 
and go in a centimetre. And then I'm going to freehand draw this section. So I want like a lid on it, a cap. Like that. So we'll see if we can get this done. I might need to use my knife with this, but I hope I don't go over. So. Oops, I've gone over a bit there. I don't matter as long as it's on this side. Not the right. Let's have a look. So, that's fine. I'm happy with that. So, I'm not going to discard that. I'm going to save that as well. We save everything. I've got some tables to make. Um, a table. I want one with a chair so that, uh, you know, they can sit down and read. So that is actually going to go on there like that. I want to hold that in and hold that in there. And I think I've got that how I want it. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. It is just the tower library. Now I do want a window. Now somewhere yesterday I was messing about making windows but I'm going to show you how I did them but I have to cut this out as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and gauge this from the middle like that with my ruler and gauge that just the thickness of my ruler I might do the bigger ruler to be honest Because I have to build as I go along, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Does that make sense? Probably not. But I do it. It's um, really hard. I have to see what I'm doing and think, oh, well, I can do this now. So that's my line. Right, now I don't want it like that. I want mine to be cut out like that. Yep, 
You can build things together and still cut out. Yeah, it's not hard. You just have to be careful. Oh, I don't want it that far down. I want my ledge. So I'm going to do my window about there. Just a small window. Okay. So first of all, I'll take my knife. There's the window that I'm cutting out and I'm going to use that as the template. See? Now we are going to be covering the, the outside as well. So that is now my template for my window. Now you know the packaging you get, um, like when I get my glue sticks it comes with this packaging and I always keep it and cut the deep rim off so I'm going to use that I just need my little board here um, and then what I'm going to do is just to mark around that and I'm, I also I'm not going to waste this either and I need to leave a little lip all the way around I might have to cut that off though <laughs> again using something sharpish So I'm marking out the actual window and then I will leave a little lip because I want to sandwich it between two pieces of card. So can I see that? Yes. I'm just going to imprint it a little bit more. Emboss it, should I say, not imprint it. Like that. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, let me just take a picture. I can't, it doesn't matter, I'm not going to move my camera. <laughs> so, um, let me just cut this out. And again, like I said, I, I'm going to go on the inside of that and just leave a little bit of a border on it. But I'm cutting it on the line. Now, I don't want to waste this. Uh, salt that a little bit and just get rid of the rubbish I put that back I might need to do another one if this goes wrong but I've got plenty of that so I should be okay so what I'm going to do is just to see the window there yeah that fits okay so now what I've got to do is to actually score this so I'm going to bring that back I need my ruler and I need something sharper and what I've got are my um, sharpie tools. This won't go through the plastic hopefully but what it will do is score. Now I'm just looking to see the size because you only need small um, embossing. You know, uh, you only need uh, small windows. And these will have to be painted black. Um, and we're going to colour the window itself for the stained glass. So this is my way that I do it. I don't know about anybody else, but it's an easy way for me. 
to achieve what I want to achieve. So I've just got room to do one more just there, I think. So now we've done it one way, we now have to go over and I just flip it because it can bend. So I flip it and we just go back that way. And you end up with that like diamond pattern. It's not hurting the plastic. Oops, that was a little bit awkward, that. You just have to use something as non-slip. My mat's slipping underneath, but the, it's got a foam backing on the ruler, so it should be all right. Making it go a little bit wonky. Just hold on to it. Now I think what I'm going to do is just to do this one by hand. The last couple. And I always put my little spiky thing cover back on. I stab myself, but I love anybody else. So look, we've got that like a diamond pattern. So now what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to colour it in yet at all. Bend it back into shape. And then really, that should... Let me just glue that bit in there, because that came undone. Now we'll just glue that in shape. Um, I'm going to put it on the outside, I think, because I'm going to put a, um, a board around it. Now that's only just going to fit. That's fine. So I might glue this onto the border itself. So off these pieces that I cut, wrong. <laughs> Let's just see if we can, yes, we can make this fit. So what I'm gonna do is draw around it, but then I know I have to leave a border on it. No, that's not gonna do a border border. So that's no good. <clears throat> And I should have thought about that first fee, shouldn't you? Silly woman. Okay. We won't use that then. We've got some here. Got this one. I need to leave a decent board around.
I think I might use the bigger scissors. See, to a more um, fitting window size for this project. There, clean up before you move on to the next stage. <laughs> I did buy a new mat, but it's blathered. <laughs> oh, you don't, you lot don't see half of what I do. Now, what we're going to do is to bend this. We're breaking the fiber up. Just bend it. Now, I can add it on the outside. But I'd have to do another um, uh, one of these. So what I'm going to do is, for now, is just to add that. I'm going to cut another one. Let me just get another one done. That's not big enough. I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to mark it. I mean, I'm not going to cut it to fit yet. We'll just get it ready. Like that. So that's going to be ready. And I know I've just got to do a small section like that. Which I should have done three, actually. Mm. But I know it's got to be a um, half inch, uh, a centimetre. I'm going to do it a little bit wider here and here and here. So I know it's definitely going to fit when I cut that bit out. So that's the window, but I've got some colours here, and these are textile colours, but they do work. They do work. Now I have to sit it onto something so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. Stained window. It's good enough for this project. And of course, I need to put the black in. Um, which, that's too thick. I need a very fine one. Um, and I'll get that out after. Yeah, I'll have to get that out after. Uh, and I'll finish painting that once I'm finished. The, I'm going to put it on the inside. Like that. Okay. We've just, I'm going to turn that over so that they, um, it can dry the other side. And then... But we're not putting that on yet because I've got to do the walls. Now, I bought this, didn't I, the other day? Let me just show you. Move that over there. We need that one. I have to clean up because I can't do with this mess. Sorry. 
and uh, my space is a little bit short although i've got a long arm on this but um i don't want to get it messed up everywhere right okay move that to one side now um i've got these strips and i've got this wallpaper book that i bought and what i'm going to do i want wooden walls halfway up and then paste so what i'm going to do is take these and because they're wider than what i need i'm going to cut these down and i'm not sure how many now i do want to put a window ledge in here and so i need it to go at least at least oh well actually the level of that would be fine so i need to measure what that is let me just see how two two inches so they can't be any longer than two inches but i don't want them any wider than a centimeter so oh this is just short of that that's yeah, just over it yeah it's mini mini isn't it we really should do smaller strips hmm you know what i'm going to do what's the easiest way i need them two inches long so i'm just going to do that yeah they've got to be two inches long so that's to the end there that's there four six eight not enough at the bottom So, um, I'm not doing it with that glue we're going to use. Where's that glue gone? Right, um, I've got this wood glue. PVA glue, wood glue, it's all the same. It doesn't really matter. So, I've got to start using it up before it crystallises on me.
Oh, it's thundering. Thundering. We can't see it lightning because of the sun. It's black sky outside with sunshine, but thundering. Silly, isn't it? <laughs> right, I'm just going to measure it a little bit more. Because I've not got enough here. Yeah. There we go. Right, what I've done is cut these out and then cut each one into three. So hopefully um, I'll have enough. But it doesn't matter, they're going to go in like that. And I'm not fussed about any lines on them or anything like that. They're just going to go in as though they're planks. Like that. All the way around. And then we'll put a border on. But first of all, I'm going to do the top half. Which might be a little bit tricky because... Um, with it being cardboard, it might need reinforcing. So I think I might do that now, just to be on the safe side. So, uh, I need a little bit of board. Now I've got this... It is flexible, I just need to get the right width. And for that I need 12, 12 and a half centimetres. So I'm going to do it that way, so lengthways obviously, because I need to get the length. 12 and a half. I can cut any off the bottom, that's not a problem. So we've got that one and that one. Now, my blade tip just snapped. Now that's unusual because they don't normally. Well, let's see. Hopefully, it'll still work. Ooh, still worked. I'm gonna have to turn it round though and do twelve and a half again. Okay, now I do have to do the fibres on this. And by doing that, you just run it on the edge of the table. Rub it up and down on the edge of the table. This one is the 2mm chipboard. Which is flexible, but not flexible enough. You just break the fibres up. Turn it around, do the other bit. And then we'll have to just cut it off. And I can cut the window out, not a problem. So, I'm going to use the flat edge first, which I know is the flat edge. That bit. We knew. So we're just going to have to glue that in place. Oh, come on, glue gun. I'm just going to get that going. Now that's come off, so I'm going to have to glue that back on. Not a problem. Let's 
give me a nice thickness there and I'm gonna have to do it round here okay so oh stuck my bloody thumb in that bit there didn't need that on there I'm just going to pull it onto there. I can trim that off, not a problem. See, that's come off now. Because it's too big, so I'm going to cut that. So I can hold it on better. Let me just take that off and cut it again. This is what I mean, when you're building, you don't know the measurements you're going to need. Pulling that tight, that's fine, that's all going to come into place, not fussed about that whatsoever. Right. Okay, I think we've got that right. Yeah, that fits off. I'm just going to tidy that line up. I know you shouldn't do it towards you, but I've got control of it, so I'm fine with that. That'll do. Now. So, now what I'm going to do, I'm not gluing the floor in. I don't need to. It's glued in with that. But we're now going to try and add... Um, I'm going to use some uh, like a paste a medium so let's have a look see what we've got I think what we'll do is we'll do a glue based one uh, so paint pot no too not big enough 
Let me get find a little pot. Oh, this will do under the ramekin, whatever you call them. Right, we're going to make a mixture up. So I'm going to put in some. No, I'm not because I don't want to risk it. Triple thick gloss. Like that. So we will have to leave this to dry. I'm going to add in some. Uh, when I can open these tubs. See, they've not been used for so long. They're drying up. I mean, it's such a shame. So I do apologise, folks. I will be using my mediums. I can't afford for the... I mean, I buy the big tubs so that they last. So I've got some glue, gel, but I do need some other glue. Which is... My Mod Podge. I can get into this one. I use some to loosen the lids. Or, oh, you know, if the plastic you can generally press in. There, a bit more glue in that one. So, I'm just going to leave those to one side. And I'm going to use this to mix it with. Let's have a look. I can even use this actually to add the tiles because it's got glue in it. Uh, get rid of the skin, you don't want skin in it. Okay, give it a good mix. And again, clean off your tools. Take a brush and just start and paint it. So that's dry now. Yeah, it's dry enough. Um, so now what I'm going to do is put some, like a paste onto that. Uh, let me just see what I've got. Uh, let's have a look. Right, I've got this uh, texture paste. It should be all right. I am going to use a brush. And I'm just going to use the brush I had before. So, let me just see about getting some of this out. Nice and thick. Because I'm going to leave that white, but I will be 
dirtying it a little bit so it looks like it's uh, old, oldish. But we are going to be putting the units in as well. See, that's another thing. So a lot of this will probably get covered up. And what I'm going to do here is just fill in these gaps. On both sides. Not that they're going to make any difference because they are going to be covered up. But I just want it all to be just right. And I'm going to do the windowsill as well. Now what I'm going to do is to start filling in uh, and I'm going to start from the middle and work out. And then that'll take a while. And but I need to colour this first as well. And I also need to do the black lines on it. Now I'm not sure if this pen maybe a little bit. Yeah, I think the ink on that is going to be too thick. Uh and I'm not sure if this one works. No, it doesn't. So I need to get a black felt, very, no, it's not pointy enough, no, I need one of my sharpies, 
I have a black marker pen somewhere, but I can't find all my tools. Right, this one will work. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. So, I'm just going to go over. So it looks like the... Um, metal that separated the windows Now that's the side we actually did it on and that's the side that's going to be on the inside. So we've got that and we still need to cut that out. These can go to another project, so we don't need them. And now I'm going to put some... Oh, build some... You Actually, I might need them for the shelving. So I'm going to build some units. So, I've got this here. And this one, that's a thinner one. See what else I've got. Oh, that's for the walls. Just bear with me a minute. See if I've got any more of those. I've won. Right, might not use that one actually. Is that the same as that? Well, they feel the same actually. Yeah, I'll use these. Now, um, for the height of the units, we're going to need that much. <laughs> I'll measure it once I've uh, cut it. Um, but I'm going to have to cut these the same, so I'm going to have to mark them. Now, if I'm having my... It's getting heavy. <laughs> if I have my bookcase, one starts there. Well, we've got to get this in. That's the thing. Um, so I'm going to just bend this. And we're going to have to glue that in place. Okay. I can paint it later. It's not a problem. Hang on. Don't know if I can get in there now to cut that. Right, hang on. So we need that in there. I'm going to have to pull it out and cut that again. Whoa! See, it's pulling that off. Never mind, not a problem. We'll glue that bit down, take it out, and we'll just fill it in. Put like a hole. So, let's try that again. Okay. That is not an issue. That's not an issue. Right, 
we get that um, paste with a little brush. So you can manoeuvre and fix anything. I'll leave it quite thick to fill it in. That's it, done. Not a problem, we'll let that dry. Right, so the window's in, so now what I'm going to do while I'm waiting for that to dry, which we don't have to wait for it to dry to be honest, I'm just going to make a colour solution up, I'm going to get one of my little pots, I've got my brown paint and it just has to be a little bit it's a wash that's all I'm after is like a wash so take my water and a touch of the brown paint so it's mainly water and we'll just give it a test Test it on one of these. See? Right, so move it out of the way. The well, first thing we're going to do is to do the walls while they're still drying. Like that. Even over that, what we've just done. And um, the only reason why I've got a um window in uh, coloured window is because I thought it would be a good idea I made the three last night I don't know where they've gone I've put them away somewhere probably in the miniature drawer I made those three last night and I thought wow that would look great in a miniature um, in a room or a old fashioned school or something like that you know church whatever so that's why I did it. Now, and what I'm going to do with this is just to move that a minute, get the little paintbrush, and I'm going to darken the windowsill, that's all. While it's wet, it's just to darken the windowsill. Like that, that'll do that, and then back to the t 
to this one. Now I'm just dipping the tip of the brush in. And like I said, we will have to wait for it to dry. Because the paper could peel. Now, we are going to paint the floor. I'm just going to get a little bit more water. Dip the brush in the paint, put the, in the brush, uh, put the brush in the paint first. And then we're just going to darken the floor. Like that, we're going to take the spot of white, and it is just a spot. You just go over them like that. Now I might want to do a little bit more. We're using chalk later. Using my chalks. But for now, I'm happy with that. That's fine. <coughs> now I'll be back later because that has to dry no matter what. And um, yeah, quite liking that. Quite nice. And we have to put the beam, uh, the dado rail. Uh, so we'll be back later with that. Right now I'm going to do the um, furniture, uh, the desk. It has to be a very tiny desk. Do you know what? It's raining again, my God. April showers we're getting in May. <laughs> the months are changing. They're changing direction, if you know what I mean. We're getting April showers in May. It's nothing to do with climate change. It's just... Cycles. <laughs> it's crazy. Keep trying to pump that down your throat though. Okay, now. Let me put that away. I don't need that either. So, I need to build this little desk. Now, I've got this card. I don't really want to cut into anything if I don't have to. But I need that. It's going to be a half moon desk. There we are. Here's my desk. So, but it can only be small. Small. And I'm going to have it a weird shape, I think. So let me just see. Just see if it works. Again, I've not measured. I'm just doing it by eye. So let's just see what that looks like. That look the same. 
don't be distracted by markings I've already put on it. That's better. So, hang on. Now, a little desk, bookshelves and a little desk. And I think that's going to be fine. And I'm going to do the legs like I've uh, been doing them. Like I've shown you before. Now, wait a minute, because I need all my pieces together. Well, I think we've got that. So, you take this and you cut a little section. Now, how high do I want my desk? About that, that'll do. I'm going to cut two the same. Like that. And then you have to cut out. Um, no, I'm not going to do it like that. We're going to do it like this. We're going to do it like this. Okay. It's all right. Change my mind. Because I can. Oops. My stomach's going like crazy, but I've eaten. Right, just need to put the other piece on. Yeah. Just jut that up against that. I've actually put the legs on the wrong way. But not to worry. I've just thought of something. That can be the side panel, and then I've got to bend this one for the front. I'm going to put a front piece on it. If it's too big, I can alter the size. Not a problem. And I'm just going to sit it on like that. Right, now what I need is some toothpicks. And my cutter. It's a wonderful, wonderful tool is this. I am so pleased I've got it. Like that. Hang on, I need to see what size and the height. Yeah, I think that'll do. Just done that wrong, haven't I? Probably not. Melting that glue in there again.
think they're yeah about the same that was a good guess wasn't it Twist it round. Like that. That's a good guess. Move that out of the way. Oops, it is. I don't want anything going under there. Come out. So we've just got to go in and cut that little bit off there. Oh, do you know what? I'm not bothered. I'm going to put a cloth on it anyway. That's a nice little book, uh, reading book area. So we've got that. Now I'm going to do the chair in a very similar way. I think that's good. That's great. And here we go with the shelving. I'll take that off. We're going to cut this, uh, draw this out. I'm going to do it in a circle and we'll use this again like we did before.
Right, where's my clippers? I'll sort it all out once I've got this done. This is a little bit smaller. Yeah, I'll glue them all in and sort them all when I've done that. That's it, I've had enough. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye for now.